is old two time Central American champion. And in the blue corner, Parvis Bagarov of Azerbaijan, 18 years old. And there's his record so far, and they've been comfortable enough margins. That win against Dominica's Carlos Adamas, 22 15. That was a good win. Pan American youth champion. Bagarov got past Amantis Stanionis of Lithuania, 13 7, and then a very one sided affair against Manuel Orsinger of Germany, 20 points to three. Martinez, the only Guatemalan fighter who's got to the quarter final stage. Sent three fighters over. This, of course, again at light welterweight, 64 kilograms. Bagarov of Southport, Martinez, Orthodox. And it's Bagarov who's made a pretty quick start here. Covering up the Guatemalan. Heavy punches these from Bagarov, but most of them are hitting the arms and the gloves. He does look the bigger man of the two. Might seem like a strange thing to say because, of course, there are weight limits. But different fighters have different frames. It's a little bit awkward, Lester Martinez. Crouch style. Just let his head go a little bit low as he comes in sometimes. And he's not exactly weathering a storm here. But he's on the back foot at the moment. He is having to take a few shots from Bagarov, but as originally indicated, and we've seen this in a few bouts already this afternoon. And you see it a lot in whichever tournament you happen to watch. Somebody can set an early pace. But it's just a question of how many of these are scoring. And I would say not that many at the moment with the naked eye. That early pace that was set by Bagirov has just dropped a little bit. Made to miss by Martinez. And a nice little jab there from the Guatemalan, just snapped out. Again, dipping with the knees, bending at the waist to try and keep out of trouble. These are solid shots, and he felt that was a bit low. But that's not the reason for the delay, it's because the shoelace of Bagirov is undone. into the last 10 seconds of the round. And it'll be really interesting to see how they've scored this. Well, 3-1 to the Guatemalan. Two-point lead at the end of the opening round and threes right across the board for Lester Martinez. 
but that's a very good example of how the scoring works. The scores of Bagirov, one, two, one, five, five. The three closest scores are the one, the two, and the one. So the two fives do not enter the equation. Four divided by three is one and a third, rounded down to just a single point. And he did throw most of the shots in that first round. There's no doubt about that. In terms of volume of punches, he was the aggressor. He was on the front foot, but they didn't get through. Uh, works to the body a little bit more there. A couple of good punches from Bagarov come in. And maybe he's a little bit perplexed by that scoring in the first round, but rather than just throw to the head, which was what he was generally doing in the first round, he's trying to work to the body a bit more. And again, he just gestures there, Martinez, that he thinks that might have been a little bit low. It seemed right on the belt to me. And again, he's really trying to set the pace here, Bagarov. He's trying to bully Martinez a bit. But it's a difficult thing to do. He's awkward. In Guatemala, and when you get into close quarters, that head does come forward a bit. Does duck a bit. Perfect example of it there. It's possible, of course, that even though a lot of these punches from Bagirov aren't scoring, that the volume of them might start to take its toll. And again, I do think he might be having more success with those body shots. A little bit ragged Martinez at times in the second round. He really is being put under pressure here. And if you're a little bit confused by the loud cheers when these scores for the first round were put up, that is because Azerbaijan and Armenia are neighbours. And of course, for that reason, as is the case all around the world, there is an intense rivalry. So whoever Azerbaijan are fighting in this venue will get the support of the crowd. And we can hear it again now. Holding those hands a bit low now, Bagirov. I think he feels that there's not an awful lot coming back a lot of the time, but maybe it's a sign that he's getting a little bit tired. In the opening two rounds, he set quite a fearsome pace. And if he gets back to his corner at the end of this second and finds that again he hasn't scored as heavily as he would like to, then you may get a bit dispirited. He was caught by a right hand a few seconds ago, just on the way in there from... Martinez he just tries to get his feet moving as we head towards the final few seconds of the second round again a second round that had significantly more action than the first so how have the judges seen this one 3-1 it was at the end of the first round and that two-point advantage has been maintained so fairly differing score lines there for both of them an eight and a nine on both of their cards there neither of those will have counted eight six five five and he's really sucking in the air there bagger off in the blue corner Just trying to cool him down by waving that towel in front of him. It's not overly warm in the, in the arena here. The Karen de Merchan Sports Complex. 2009 Junior World Championships were held here. Used to having boxing. It's hard to catch Martinez. 
It does dock quite low when you get in close. So he knows, he knows he's got work to do here, the Azari. And I think he feels that he had more success in that second round because he did go at it more aggressively. He did try and sustain that tempo for longer than he did in the first. But Martinez throwing back after an initial flurry from Bagirov. That's good work on the inside, though, from Martinez. A couple of nice short punches there. They could both have scored. He's looking a bit tired, Bagirov, if I'm honest. We did see him breathing pretty heavily in the corner between rounds. Bit of a wild swing with the left hand there from Martinez. But he covers up well, doesn't he? And he's looking a bit weary as well as he just tries to skip out of range. Into the second half of the third and final round. And the punches don't quite have the same snap that they had earlier on from both fighters. He's still walking forward, Bagarov. He's still trying to find the target. But again, that was just a sneaky little left that popped out of nowhere from Martinez. They won't have had any great effect on Bagarov at all. But it may well have scored. It was on the side of the ring where, to be honest, only one maximum two judges could really have seen it. Nice crisp left hand from the Guatemalan who then again covers up. He's only got a few seconds remaining. It'll be interested to see the reactions of both of these when the bell goes. I think Martinez may be cautiously optimistic that he's got this. He may well have stretched that two-point lead in the final round. As the bell goes, at the end of another full-blooded contest, 3-1 to Martinez at the end of round one. The second round was scored five apiece, so 8-6 going into the third and final round. And he's had a good tournament, whatever happens, Lester Martinez, as I mentioned, beating Dominica's Pan-American youth champion, Carlos Adamas, 22-15 in the quarter-final. 17 years old, Bagarov has got the age advantage on him. The winner is in the red corner. And a big cheer for the Guatemalan, and he did stretch that lead in the third round. Won that one 5 3, so goes through 13 9. It's a popular win with the Armenian crowd as well. And the defensive work from him, as we can see, is fairly awkward at times. But he does make it difficult for his opponent to get in close at any stage. 